How's it going everybody? In Sunisuk SG back again with another buddy fight video. Alright, so today in front of you guys we got the new trial deck Thunderous Warlords Alliance. So this is the third trial deck for the Buddy Fight X series and of course again it features Gao because Gao. Anyway, after this I'll be unboxing two of the new booster set XBT03. Uh, I have no idea what the name is. I think it's Overturn Thunder Empire. Thank you. But um yeah, so Thunder Empire finally got its huge flag support and We'll be cracking into two boxes later to see what we get. So we'll be starting out the trial deck, but I'll be releasing both videos consecutively. So uh, nonetheless, I'll leave a link to each of their videos uh, in the description below. But what the hell? Okay. So of course, again, you'll get the small packet with the light counter and a play mat. And oh, we get a promo. So, okay, promo does exist in Trial Decks now. And we get Buds the Thunderstorm. So it's a Thunder Empire and Dragon attribute. 724 stats, size 2 again, with a core cost of 1 gauge. And yeah, base double attack. So I guess it's a good promo to run. And of course, the life counter will go up to 24. Yes, 24 life. So this is a new design. I, I honestly, I would dig this design. It's quite nice. But anyway, all this aside. This is the main thing that you guys want to see. Oops. The actual trial deck itself. So, in front of you guys, we have Overturn Arc Dragon Bow Buds, which is the new boss card for this trial deck. And this plastic thing, which I really like. So, it's a size 2 Thunder Empire Dragon Attribute, 7 2 4 stats again. Core cost of 1 gauge. Of course, it has the undestructible ability, like all buds have, except the double rare one. And overturn. So this does feature overturn and one gauge you get to stand a thunder empire on your field and this card. So generally you would stand either your weapon or a high crit monster. But most of the time weapons are more prominent. Okay. So Thunder Empire has this new skill that doesn't allow you to counter. In fact it's in every single Thunder Empire card from the newer set. So this is overturn, you can't cast counter, you just have to take it to the face. So you get one foil version of him. Then we have Saint Holy Sword Dragon, of course, another foil version. So Chibi Panda finally evolved. 5, 2, 3 stats. No call cost, which is actually quite good. And it's a size 0. So it's a boomerang dragon. I guess this is a really good card to play. So I would recommend picking up the trial deck just to get this card. Then we have the new impact. Turbulence Thunder Fist, Blowout X Tempest Shatter. These names just get weirder and weirder. So 2 gauge, destroy all monsters and deal 2 damage. So I guess you can play one of these to clear field, but Thunder Empire has uh, Unyielding Buds which does the job. So now we have 4 more Bow Buds, nothing much to be said. And of course Thunder Empire being the new flag and all features something a similar playstyle to Dragon's Y and Ayn, so you can play cards from every world. Destruction Arc Duke Gast Tall is the ancient world version of Thunder Empire cards. So 838 stats, 2 gauge and yeah, <laughs> 2 gauge and 2 souls. So sadly this is not a counter destruction ability which doesn't make it that good but it's a trial deck so like, we can't complain much. It has quite tanky stats though and it has soul guard. Okay so we have some star dragon world action in here, thunder star lightning. Okay, honestly this card is quite cool but uh, the effect is not that great so you guys can pause and take a look. And you get one more copy of Saint Holy Sword so yep. Then we have some danger world. Finally, uh, Ogre is back. So yeah, pause and read the effect right there. Hero world as well. So you get four copies of Rescue Dragon Electric Paddle. <laughs> These names are just freaking hilarious. Okay, so our friendly GMs from Dungeon World has got a support as well. Thunder Warrior Ogre Glacier, but we can clearly see the other three GMs over there. Then we have some size zeros in the deck. So technically, this deck has six size zeros since um. Holy Sword Dragon is a size 0, effectively. So, yep. 3 crit size 0. Hmm. Okay. So finally, getting to spells, we have 4 copies of Act Nice Thunder, which is honestly probably the best spell in this trial deck. But, yeah. So Black Boat Ring, you get a standard monster and it gets power plus 3000, so you can just swing this card in and just like get the extra 3 damage off some high crit monster. But again, it's a cast cost of 2 gauge and note that it's Black Dragon World, so you can run this in Death Talika or something. Then we have Ninja Arts Flash Dance. So counter destruction, really good. And you get a deal damage as well. So you get a push for your impact. So this is your standard cast counter negate. Nothing much to be said. 
dungeon world as well. Then we have more hero world spell, bring it on. Another nullifier. Why would Thunder Empire need so much nullify? <laughs> okay, it's a, effectively a green dragon shield. Then we have something similar to a dragon force, but it's not. So it's, it seems it can be destroyed. But uh, equip cost of 1 gauge and 1 life, 5-2 uh, card. When this card attacks, if you have a monster, for this turn, a monster or an item gets penetrate. So yeah, 2 crit or 3 crit penetrate. Quite devastating, but um, I don't really see this card being used much. Okay, so we have more weapons because Thunder Empire is all about weapons. Thunder Emperor Sword, Drag Glare. Wow, okay. Cool name, but not that great of an effect, honestly. So yeah, quite a small weapon as well. Two crit. Okay, so we have three more copies of the impact. So you get a play set of the impact. Again, clear field. And this is the new Thunder Empire flag. So I would like to touch on some things about this flag. It might seem good on paper, but... Um, Thunder Empire will require you to be at as low health as possible to trigger most effect effectively at 4 health so most of the time I don't see Thunder Empire players buddy calling as well and the fact that you have one, one card gauge kind of sucks because Thunder Empire is quite costly that's why you have cards like th Nice Thunder to sort of buff up your gauge but it's clearly not enough so Thunder Empire looks good for now but I can see it getting better with more gauge support. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this trial deck, everyone. I will leave a link to the toolbox opening in the description below so you guys can go check it out. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.